Hey there, this is Daryl Olson again from the Jackson Fishing Team and uh, talk a little bit about a fly I'm going to do for a swap for a um, Facebook group I think called uh, Warm Water Flies and Fly Healing Water Support or something like that and they do uh, quarterly fly swaps. Well this this month here I'm kind of procrastinator. I've got to get it done here for the month of April by the end here but I'm not sure if the video will be ready but um, they wanted classic flies so I'm gonna head and uh, I'm gonna pick uh, the Wilson fly and uh, it's uh, a wet fly. It's, it's not a you know, similar to the Ray Bergman flies, and set, except it's got one difference. It uh, uses a breast feather of a teal, single dot on the on the, the breast feather, and um, and pretty simple tie, really. Um, you can either use dubbing or yarn, wool yarn. I'm using wool yarn in this case, and orange for this fly. Um, and I'm tied in a size 10 but you know that that's probably not a classic fly maybe it's a legendary fly but heck with it I'm just gonna call it a, a classic fly but uh, not sure what Mr. Wilson's first name was but uh, supposedly from my understanding he was a had only one arm and he tied flies and uh, anyway we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you I'm gonna tie it tie it on a size 10 and we'll explain all the materials as I go along all right this is a fly that I'm gonna attempt to fly, replicate here it's called the Wilson fly it's uh, orange wool body. You can either use dubbing or yarn. I'm going to take the easy way out and uh, use yarn. It's got a orange throat just about to where the, the point of the hook is or around the barb. Um, a uh, A teal feather with a single dot and uh, orange thread. So uh, I'm on there. So I'm going to use a, a Mustad 3906 in a size 10. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and debarb my hook. I'm going to use uh, some 70 denier orange thread and we're going to go ahead and uh, start start the thread about an eye width behind the eye of the hook. And we're going to take the thread back to the where the barb used to be. Or partially it's still there. You see a little bump. <clears throat> and I'm going to take some uh, some orange yarn. And this is about enough for four flies because I don't need to use the whole yarn thing not for the size 10 and if you can see that I'm just going to take one strand it's a four strand piece of yarn 
and I'm just going to take one strand for the body. And move the thread back up to the head there and then I'm gonna wrap this to the eye of the hook and then back kind of building up a body so it's kind of got a cigar shape to it or football shape see how well I can do at this Like I said, this is uh, the Wilson ant is a wet fly ant or fly pattern. I'm not, uh, you know, it doesn't have the the wing. It won't have the wing like the Ray Bergman style flies have. Next we're going to do is we're going to put the, a throat on there. <clears throat> and I'm going to use some uh, orange saddle hackles. I'm going to trim off, trim the, off the fluff down here and I've been working on that. So I'm just going to take some of these fibers here, line up the tips. And then just tear the tear the stem away. And like I said, you're gonna want want the fibers to go to the tip or the barb area. ends. Really this becomes, for this style of fly, it's a pretty easy fly. You can see how somebody with maybe one arm can tie it, but I'm not going to try to show you that on there. Next we're going to do is we're going to use some teal breast feathers and we want to find one. You have to go through that looking for it. Some of these will have like two or three dots on them. Uh, I went through and pre-picked out some that were single dotted like this and uh, and I'm gonna just peel this stuff away here. And the concave side is going to ride up. I think I might take a little bit more off of that. And we're going to just place it here on top and give it a couple loose wraps trying to keep it on top and then I'm going to pull this through pulled it through too far And 
this will help. I'm trying to get it so that maybe the the wing is about to the back of the bend of the hook like that. We'll give it a couple tight wraps right there. We'll build up a head, an orange head, and then I'm going to put a little blue on the thread. And give it a three or four turn whip finish. There you have it. It's uh, pretty easy. Easy fly. On there. So give it a try. It's a good wet fly to swing. I'm sure that concave feather gives it a little bit more vibration than maybe no, uh, a normal wet fly hackle with the straight wings curving back and uh, on there so just give it a try anyway I've got to tie up uh, 12 or 14 of those those babies so uh, better stop chatting and and uh, get on the tying so I can get these out here at the end of uh, April considering that I've only got maybe three or five days left to this for the month of April to uh, get these done I'm sure the Project Healing Waters group out of uh, North Chicago will appreciate uh, using them in uh, the fish well. All right, this is Daryl Ellis from the Jackson Fishing Team signing off. We'll see you on the water.